part six of modeling a science lab and I'm going to add one more little piece of equipment before we move on um, yeah this is going to be a quick Bunsen burner to add to the list of growing pieces of equipment here so here we go let's add a circle and let's go for something like 22 vertices scale that down All right, here it is. I'm going to extrude up. And I'm going to press uh, E and S. I'm going to come in just a little ways. I'm going to extrude up again. And I'm going to scale it in like this now. E and S a little bit more. Let's bring it all the way in now. Start coming up and checking out the overall shape of that scale shift Z I want that smaller and I think I'm going to take this top part here actually I'm going to bring it to there yeah just like that okay B and S when it come in and at that point I'm going to take this shift D I'm going to break that out P and break it out take that piece push it down in again go to edit mode let's go e and come up it's gonna be a real simple thing here okay e and s come on in e push down a little ways i'm not gonna go very far e and s come in a little ways up again to around the same level doesn't matter that much. E and S come in a bit. A little bit more maybe. E come on down. And um, I could leave it like that. Uh, I think I will for now. This I'm gonna try just shade smooth, although although I don't know that that's going to make the grade or not. Let's bevel these put just uh, one or two segments in there that might be okay like that this one I think I'm going to do a subdivision surface probably two actually for the moment we'll do that some edge loops to sharpen this up a bit Just like that, my friends. I realize I made a small mistake here, and so I'm going to grab the bottom, bring that up. Let's see if I did that. Hold on. Bring that back down. This is actually going to fit over. So I'm going to redo some of this. I'm going to come back in here, and I'm going to take this shifty, pull it up. I'll break it out. I'll take the subdivision off. Pull you back down. And then we'll E. Bring you up underneath. And take this piece and take that edge there. E and S. Pull it in. And then bevel that edge. Shade smooth on that. And I think I'm going to make this a little bit narrower, scale shift Z, like that. Maybe a bit taller too, or maybe if that just sits there. Uh, because the base is a bit wider, I think I'll make, her, make it a bit taller. I'll lift it all up to about there. Grab this and pull it down. Okay, so now let's take all this. We're not done, but let's call this Bunsen burner. And just focus on that. Slash key to focus on that. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to borrow one of your circles. Shift D, pull it out. 
for you to break it out and focus on that thing. I'm going to rotate Y90, look from the front, scale it down, and position it over here. Extrude it out, scale it down, push it back in. I'm going to put three edge loops here, and then I'm going to put an edge loop here, slide it right in, and S to scale a little bit. Another one here, scale but a little bit smaller, and another one here has to scale and even smaller than that first one. Now I'm going to bring edge loops there, 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 and here, here, and here, like that. And um, let's bring an edge loop down here, and let's take this and go E and Alt S. Push it out a little bit. A couple of edge loops on there. Maybe right at the lip of this thing. I don't think I'm going to do anything else with that. And that's it. That's my Bunsen burner right there. Make sure that's all in the right place. Yes, it is. Save. Slash key. And just look at it here. Cool. Let's double check all faces are facing the right way. What's going on here, guys? Play nice, please. Okay. All right, cool cavity and shadow and I like this one here turn that off yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on there and we got a Bunsen burner there not sure I like this I think it's a little bit too much so let's see what we can do here yeah all right let's get rid of that one there let's take this one let's pull it up a little bit think about this no, I think I like that a bit better there we go all right so we now have a Bunsen burner in there and we got a few other pieces of equipment there and we're gonna be moving on to some other stuff